Good morning, my sister and brother Bridget. We're here trusting that you are doing well. How are you this Tuesday morning? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. The wind is blowing, even though it's going to be very hot today. So how is it in your neighborhood? And of course, I have to have my friend up there singing. Do you hear that? I tell you. Never know what's going on in the country, I tell you, my sister and brother. So let us go ahead and bow for prayer. I was going to do two topics in one, but I decided to do one topic and then come back later and do the second topic. Okay, so let's bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day. Father God, I thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God, for waking us up in our mind and, and giving us a right mind, Father God. Another day to give you praise, honor, and glory, Father God. Right now, Father God, I ask you that you would decrease me, Father God, so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister, brother. So we are... Oh, so I did not introduce myself. This is Birdell Warrior, my sister and brother. And if you would like to continue supporting my ministry, you can go to bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 21 second book, bit.ly backslash 15 compelling reasons 2022. And if you would like to tell your story, go to bit.ly tell your story 2022. Okay, so let me drink some water. So here we go. And this are, ye shall receive power. This is the book, Devotion. Heavenly agencies waiting for us. Okay. And it says, that if thou wilt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For, for with the heart men believe it unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. This is coming from Romans chapter 10, verses 9, 9 and 10. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. Father God, I ask you, Father God, to continue to take full control, Father God. Open our hearts and minds to receive this information. And I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. It's faith. The Lord calls for every talent and ability to be put to use. When the reproach of indolence, meaning laziness, idleness, and thoughtfulness, shall have been wiped away from the church, the Spirit of the Lord will be graciously manifested. Divine power will combine with human efforts. The church will see the providential interpositions of the Lord God of hosts and the light of truth will diffuse meaning spread the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ whom he has sent as in the apostle time many souls will turn unto the Lord the earth will be lightened with the glory of angels from heaven if the world is to be convinced of sin as transgressors of God's law, the agents, the agency must be the Holy Spirit working through human instrumentalities. The church need now to shake off their dead like slumber, for the Lord is waiting to bless his people who will recognize the blessings when it comes and diffuse, meaning spread it in clear, strong rays of light. Then will I then will I sprinkle clean waters upon them, and ye shall be cleansed. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statue. And this is coming from Ezekiel 36, verses 25 to 27. Ezekiel 36, uh, chapter 25, no, no, verses 25 to 27. Ezekiel 36, uh, verses 25 to 27. If the wilderness of the church is to become as a fruit, fruitful field and a fruitful field to be as a forest, it is through the Holy Spirit of God poured, up, poured out upon his people. The heavenly agency has long been waiting for human agents and members of the church to cooperate with them in the great work to be done. 
they are waiting for you. They are waiting for me. So vast is the field, so comprehensive the design that every sanctified heart will be pressed into service as an agent of divine power. Let all who believe the truth for this time put away their differences, put away envy and evil speaking and evil thinking. Let me repeat this for the ones outside the church, the ones in the front of the row, the ones in the middle, and the ones in the back of the row in the church. It says, let all who believe the truth for, the, for this time, let me repeat that, let all who believe the truth for this time put away their differences, put away evil, let me go back, put away envy and evil speaking and evil thinking, press together, press the great, Press together, press together. Seeing ye shall purify your souls in, ob in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto genuine love for the brethren. See that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Let me repeat that. Seeing ye have purified your soul in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto genuine love of the brethren see that ye see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently and that is coming from first peter chapter 1 verses 22 first peter chapter 1 verses 22 so that concludes my topic my sister my brother heavenly agencies waiting for us and what are they waiting for us to surrender our lives so that we will be able for so that the Holy Spirit will be able to use us to do God's bidding, meaning that we will go ahead and spread the gospel, uh, the message for this time, warning individual that they need to get out of Babylon. It says Babylon, Babylon is falling. I think what that is uh, Revelation 14. We talk also the um, Revelation 13 talks about. The, the, the B system, the B system is a false system, my system, brother. Babylon meaning it's a false system, and God is calling his children out of those false systems under his banner. So we all need to study, study for ourselves, my system, brother. When you go to church, be taking notes, and then when you get home, take that information and go over it. You got to research and research for yourself so you could have a clear understanding what God wants you to do or or how would I say, clear understanding, so you can understand it for yourself, and then apply it to your life, right? And then you can go out and share it with somebody else, okay? So let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this message, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you did not leave me here by myself, Father God. I give you praise, I give you honor, I give you glory. Father God, if we have said anything or done anything today that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, we ask you to forgive us. Wash us, Father God, and make us whiter than snow. Father God, we ask you, Father God, to we give you permission, Father God, to take these empty vessels, Father God. Give us uh, the spirit that we need, Father God, to run from sin, Father God. The strength, Father God, to continue serving you, Father God. We know, Father God, that we, we are pressed on all sides, Father God, with all the evils that's happening right now, Father God. So, Father God, we ask you that you will penetrate, Father God, and use us to penetrate this dark world, Father God, so that your light will shine, Father, that someone else will make a decision to serve you, Father God. Father God, we thank you for hearing. We thank you for answering. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, so if this was a blessing to you, can you do me a favor? Can you hit the like, hit the share, follow me over YouTube, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I have a wealth of information there for you and for your whole entire family. So you could just go there and, and look at all the different topics I have. Click, click, and share, share, share. And I thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to richly bless you and your family. So until um, later on when I come back, but my other topic, I'm not sure, based on the time, I need to look at my time because I'm pressed for time. Right now, I'm cooking um, cooking some um, red beans, and I'm going to do some rice, some red rice with that. And then my daughter brought me some fresh 
um, somebody's garden zucchini so I'm going to do uh, saute those in a little while and so and then I'm not sure what I'm going to serve with that but of course I'm going to do a large sal salad a large salad and so my sister and brother so Whatever you do, do it in love. Whatever you do, do it in love. And spread the love of Jesus. I know there's so much going on, but just be mindful of what you are doing, my sister. Brother. Be mindful of what you are thinking and what comes out of your mouth. Make sure that you are blessing individuals. Why you bless someone? Even though your enemies, you bless them, bless them, bless them. Why? Because you want blessings to come back to you. And not only, you don't want to curse somebody because when you curse someone, you're going to get it back. It's going to go back. And then besides, we have children and grandchildren out there that you know what they're into. And you don't want no one to be cursing and, you know, all that stuff on them. So you got, you make sure that you are doing uh, living a righteous life, my sister and brother. Living a righteous life. I mean, yes, we fall down as Christian, but we don't stay down, right? We get back up. We ask, we, we confess our faults to one another, but we confess our sins only to God. Why? Because he is the only one that not only does he forgive us, he wipe it just like it's never happened. Yes, we do have to, um, how would you say, have to face the consequence for those um, decisions that we have made, but nevertheless, God is merciful, is merciful, and he will see you through in whatever you are going through. Just surrender it to him, and you watch and see how God moves. It might not be how you want him to move, but nevertheless, God will move in a way that it will be pleasing and bring that, that will bring him glory, 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 hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. So with that, my sister and brother, so I already told you, you can go to bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 21. Second book is bit.ly on the number 15 compelling reasons 2021, no, 2022. Two, and then the other book is bit.ly not not a book but if you could register if you want to tell your story it's um bit.ly tell your story 2022 so with that my sister and brother i love you appreciate you but before you go let us do the four hugs for survival remember we do four for survival and we also have eight for maintenance and then we got 12 for growth but we're just going to do the four 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 so here we go one two three one more four thank you my sister and brother i love you i appreciate you until tomorrow no 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 till later be blessed be blessed be blessed and we shall talk soon take care